Alrighty, video game time. So, uh, we left Alicia kind of alone. What's this? Uh, there's a portal to a place. Yeah, we've gone full moon side. Oh boy. Needless to say, I don't know how to navigate this place. And, uh... Woof. There's an oval over there, though. Hmm. Might have to climb that mountain to get it. No. The sign says no. Okay, got a heart. Got a gear. Oh, this is a memory. But who's... Dottie's memory. Oh, this is Dottie's memory of the beginning of the game. I can only imagine if you had not seen any of the game up to this point, this would be like, hey Kaz, what are you playing? What is this? Memory Spark. Oh, hey, a little guy. <laughs> nope. I like having different ways to say no. That's really cute. Okay. That's good information. We did find a memory. Oh, maybe 
there's the exit button. Uh. Huh. Kinda tearing a path through all this, I wonder. Oh. Ah, uh, this is a no zone. Oh, wait. Zero is a number. Relax, you're in Vinklum. No, no. Hey, hey. Okay, that's floor floor three. We don't have a key card. Okay. I'm gradually piecing this place together. Fun is infinite. Not sure I agree with that. But that requires some, uh... Hey, hey. Postulating. Whose memory is this, I wonder? Gonna guess it's Lamar's. off uh, to give a speech. Man, speeches can go really wrong, I guess. Damn. Hi, I'm Matafin Zero. Uh, this is Moonside. We're wandering around finding people's memories, and they're all, um, visual novel comics, kind of. This entire stream has been absolutely nothing like the rest of the game. Alright, that's two memory sparks. Oh. Oh, Alicia. I guess that got to her. Uh... Do we have anyone else to talk to here? Keep our city clean. Oh, harsh. A shop? No way. I have only one item for sale. Alright, now it's the hunt for mysterious cubes. I dig it. Oh, that's not a, a door. Oh, okay. Sure enough. Well, I certainly don't know where the mysterious cubes are, and I'm pretty sure I don't have them in my inventory already. And fly. We 
got Tetris blocks. Got skulls on the ground. Got Metroid plants. Neon road cones. I mean, everything's neon around here, so maybe that's not saying all that much. Okay, so I think these barriers specifically are the ones that are going to go away if I turn in the memories. I can exit. Okay, that takes me there. This takes me to city. It takes me to bubbles. I haven't been to bubbles yet. The land of secrets. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, you know, uh, we would have to test. Not willing to test that yet. Uh... Ah, floor two. But I still don't have a key card. Uh huh. How does this drinks machine work? Don't you talk to me. Uh huh. Yeah, these little fences look like the other ones, so I'm pretty sure those are the thing that I get to make go away. Hello, Minibot. I am kind of hunting for mysterious cubes. I'm kind of hunting for memories. I'm kind of hunting for my friends. And... Uh... <laughs> Nothing is uh, straightforward, but everything's on the menu. Oh, heck. Well... That... Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! The fake out! You can... You can walk the maze, or you can just not. <laughs> okay. Time for another memory. Oh good, one for Miriam. It's a carp. His mouth is smiling, but his mustache is frowning. I don't know what to make of this. Whoosh! What is whoosh? Is that a wolf? Are you seriously gonna fight a wolf? Also, is Pawpaw a JoJo's? Did you see that? <laughs> like, hat down, hand out, like, what? Look at his cool wolf scars. I will commune with the wolf. What a, what a memory. Nobody likes mazes. I love fake out maze. Okay, so in case you come at it from the other direction, I see. I see what's going on. Yeah. 
Lots of interconnectivity to this. Well, that's three memory sparks. So presumably, it's one for each party member. We could go back to the hotel. All right. That's the hotel. Lord. Um, does this put me at four? Oh boy. Alright, room zero. Um Ah, Miriam Land. Okay. We'll go to Miriam Land. And put in the memory spark. Ah, good. Miriam, you don't have a portrait. Miriam, what happened to your portrait? Oh, she's not here. Is it a cube? Oh, the elevator card. All right. Oh, her portrait got filled in. Well, that's Lamar. I guess I did things in the right order without really meaning to. mean for my uh, going live soon page to <laughs> like be, be a foreshadowing for tonight's activities but there we go oh yikes that's uh it's a bit of a yikes portrait hard could it really be? See, we're just right here. We'll just, um, we'll just remember something for ourselves. Uh, hmm. Can't say I possess any of my own memories, though. Hmm. Are these two-way? Okay. and 496. Okay. Well, what's in door 341? What's that? Okay. I think I have to go back to Moonside. 255, 163. Yeah, we've been through those. 255. What was 255? That was this one. Okay. I guess it was just luck of the draw that I went in 108 first. Six. Okay, it's not on this path. 108. Because, yeah, that takes us to the hotel. Um. So I think I found one here, here... And here. Yep, it is a weird and unfortunate Christmas Eve. I don't have anything better to do, and I have been itching to play more of this game. 
Uh, although it has turned into a scavenger hunt. Gallery. Oh, oh, we've been here for sure. Yes, we found a memory here. It means I should leave. Oh, obols though. Also, if I happen across some mysterious cubes, I can make use of those. Oh! Oh, goodness, that's a mysterious cube. It's one of the two I require. Well, now I'm even more enthusiastic about looking for the other one. Okay, this was the maze. So all these places are connected to, I just don't exactly know how. Now we have the elevator. Oh, hey, buckaroo. Oh, nice. That's probably good. Cube! I got the cubes! Alright, now to find the man who wants the cubes. I can't believe I wrangled two cubes in such a timely fashion. Uh, nope. Uh... Not this either. You know, I'm thinking this would be easier. So I know I want to go to Townland and to shop. Shop man wanted two mysterious cubes. There's only one item for sale. Here you go. The Tantibus charm. It's the tantalizing magic school bus. Shouldn't work, but does. I'd love to see it. Okay, cool. We managed to get a cool thing. Um, which means I want the elevator again. I don't know where that is from here. So we're just gonna lippy dip around until we find an elevator and dial zero. So that's an elevator. I do not care to fully explore this place, having found the cube. Cubes. All right. Aha! One for Alicia.
Ooh. Then she cast a powerful magic spell. Okay, so Alicia took some took a baseball bat to some bullies who were beating up her trans girlfriend. That's that tracks. Okay, but we got the memory, which is the important part. No, wait, we want to talk to the the spooky man. Ooh, we don't want to talk to the we don't want to talk to the fridge. I like everyone's spooky portraits. Oh. You did it. Oh, he's reminding me to get the cubes, but I got the cubes. The Dreaming Beast. Uh, is that good? Oh. <laughs> Shabadoo, most of the game isn't this. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know how to, <laughs> just the, the same way that like most of Earthbound isn't Moonside, most of the game is not this. <laughs> Other Alicia. Wait, what? Oh, we combined with our dream self. Ah, now we're in a different looking <laughs> hell dimension. Oh my god. Oh, we can air dash twice. Okay. Everyone has portraits now, so you know they're real. Thank you, Faridon. Oh no, we're far out from the meat dimension. That's a pity. Well, we're in the expanse. Heck. Daybreak is the name of the town that Dottie and Miriam and Lamar come from and that Alicia visits. It's a regular town until it got uh, half transported to the crazy zone.
Oh, they're explaining it for me, actually. How nice. I don't want to stay here forever. Uh, good instincts, kid. <laughs> yeah, everybody's getting pumped. I have a feeling that Isanir is not entirely on the level in this whole thing. Maybe it's the fact that they have a dr Dramatis Personae mask over them, as if to mask their true intentions in this whole thing. They also seem more fascinated than anything else with every bad thing that happens to us. And they bonded with the most naive character, Dottie. So... <laughs> I don't know. That, those are all some, you know, indicators, shall we say. But hey, they've been nothing but good to us so far. So, <laughs> anything could happen from this point. <laughs> All right, well, we got the band back together, uh, which is nice. This all followed up what uh, seemed to be the final boss fight, but wasn't. Yeah, the most naive character, but also the one who um, can unleash eldritch energies. <laughs> one obol indeed. I guess this was everyone else's beds. Broken idol. Well, I don't know what that is. It's... Uh... Did I miss it? I have a lot of things. You're gonna have to forgive me. Broken idol. I actually didn't see it in any of my- okay, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna go slow and give myself a chance to read everything. Okay. We're looking for the letter B. And it's hard because I- my thing is- there it is! Oh! It was at the bottom here. Oh, it's just money. Ugh, oh, for God's sake. Put me through inventory antics for this. But yeah, the reason I have such a difficult time, like, just basically walking around and using menus is that the uh, RPG Maker game here thinks of my control stick as the thing to use instead of the D-pad. I can't use the D-pad. Oh, harsh. The mysteries keep increasing. Wait, I went, I went into all of them, right? I totally did. Yeah, okay, that was just stuff, and then the little men, then the obols, and then the nothing. One of everything. We got, we got money, we got stuff, we got men, and we got nothing. Okay, that's not walkable. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. Ooh, it's fighting time. Against the pink men. We've only seen green men before. 
Yo! What's good? Lost Souls in three different flavors. <laughs> I'll bet they have a trick. Use all of our powerful moves. Rod. Nine obols, you cheapskates. How are you gonna cross sticks with that? Nine obols, can you imagine? Another broken idol. Starting to think these things might have a secondary use. Okay, well, Alicia is gonna be good against this crowd. Lamar, not so much. Lamar, you do to some defensive things. Uh... Here's this ghost. Yeah, some of the world monsters are NPCs and some fight you, but. There is a clear distinction between the two visually, so you pick up on which will fight you and which will talk to you very quickly. Like in the first area, even. I need to get that horror absorbed in. All of your moves are bad against guys, so you should be defensive. No, I can, I mean, if it comes to it, I can point it out, like, which, which ones are the, like, fighty ones and which are the talking ones. There are a couple places where it breaks the mold a little, but... Like, there's, for instance, there's one of these looking guys in, like, a classroom where everyone talks to you. And you can fight him, but it's, like, a fake fight. Okay, batting stance. Uh, more of this. Oh, wait, no, we want to... Well, it's, it's fine. Let's use more resources. There you go. Um... I 
yeah, the ones that fight you uh, look like the way this guy looked. Uh, they can be purple or green. And all the others are friendly. And that's how you know. There's only one type that fights you. Okay, there's two types because there's like mini bosses, sort of. And I don't have more absorb up, so we're gonna bash. Omar is good at punching ghosts. There we go. Yeah, that little guy. So, I mean, as soon as I saw him, I knew I was in for a fight. Also, the way they're moving around. Like, the, the ones with the little wings and the four eyes like that, they fight you. Basically, everything else does not. It's not... It's not... The, they look... They look away. Like, I... <laughs> I knew immediately that, that they would fight me and that the others would, would be talky. I guess I'm asking you to trust me that I've played... A sufficient amount of this game to know on sight who is a threat and who is a talking. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you seriously have nothing against any of these guys? Good against. Yeah, that's great versus ghost. Okay, that's something. That'll get two of them pretty well against Robot and Goose. Yeah. Ah, Eldritch Energy Fool, huh? Let's show him a good time. I'm just gonna do that again. It was really powerful the last time. Okay, not actually haunted. Oh, that's bad. Okay, not on Dottie. So Dottie has a passive ability that makes her less likely to be targeted, but it doesn't seem to actually happen. <laughs> Here's the gift of the eye. Okay, good. Now we're back at full. No, diseased. What are we gonna do about that? I mean, maybe nothing because we're kind of doing decent at the whole fight thing, but. Another thing that you might have noticed so far is that even basic attacks can deal, like, type to damage. So, for instance, uh, Miriam's regular attack here is uh, good versus puppets and wizards, and bad versus shields, ghosts, and um, chomps. I forget what they call the chomps. Oh, also you can counterattack if you evade. Which is cool. Yeah, it is kind of funny that the, the Eldritch Eye never really has the punch that I think it should. Well, we're going to keep doing the moves that are good. Hmm. Is that actually going to haunt? No. So haunted is a status effect, a red status in 
this game. And if you're haunted, then every round ghosts do something nasty to you, but it's random, so they don't actually say, like, exactly what it does. Because that would be too long, I guess. Uh, health search here. Whale was okay. we get a, uh, a moment where our four characters uh, do their battle poses, because their battle portraits are very good. I'm a big fan of Donnie's. Actually, you can have a juice box. There you go. Did you enjoy that juice box? Uh, Mr. Lamar Arlington. It's really all lost souls top to bottom, huh? Alright, I don't hate it. Uh, what am I gonna do with you? I I have a bit of a weak point for like enemies who have a name have the same name but are obviously different in some way. So this is I don't, I just think this is really cool. Wait, what is outburst good against? Robots and ghosts. Well, Miriam's passive is a 25% counterattack against any physical. I believe the counterattack damage is untyped. Okay, uh, Alicia is looking a little worse for wear. Let's do a quick shot on this robot. Let's do Moon's Gift. Oh, another passive that she has is she uh, gets 30% of her health back if she gets a kill. Because she loves killing. <laughs> Blammo! Horror Absorb! catching up to everybody. Is it a broken idol? No, it's a seal of life. Okay. I was really expecting to see a broken idol there. Did I leave someone behind? I did. No, I am, I am exterminating this place. Yeah, the first ability you ever get is still, like, very, very good. I uh, love it. Um, what is your basic attack against? Ghost and Chomp. Attack a ghost.
yellow status ailments. Well, that's not good enough. I guess I shouldn't scoff at 700 damage, that's still quite good. Poison is super reasonable in this game. I, forget, I keep forgetting that Dottie can use chess pieces. Alright. How are we doing on levels, actually? You need 6,500 to level, and you're the smallest. Sure are a lot of these guys. It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Someone going on an acid rampage. I like that the ghostly one is partially transparent, that's pretty slick. Dang, Miriam. If I just do that again... <laughs> So, Moonskip Flare removes all yellow and red statuses and gives you a shield against any status effect for a couple turns, and affects the whole party. So it's real good. For the most part, moves in this game are really good. <laughs> in case that weren't clear. Uh... Spray, okay. Also, I'm playing on the, the highest difficulty, so, like, death is always available, basically. Alright, fine. I'm gonna have to do something nasty to these guys. I didn't want to, but here we are. It's not good against robots. That's good against robots.
trip over the finish line a little here, but it's fine. Okay, there's the quick shot. Being dead, being dead is not that much of a drawback outside of battle. My only will be at 51 health here, yeah. One for coming back to life after battle. 50 for Lamar's passive that just gives everyone 50 hit points after battle is over. And yeah, I'm chasing more combat because it's great. Who'd have thought that ninth inning would be a good ability? Paid all those obols for it and never used it. Ooh, okay. And welcome to the demon's souls. Wait, is there a 14th inning stretch? Oh boy. <gasps> Zlanith! Hooray! Yeah, it would be funny to get here without ever talking to Zlanith and not having any Zenner cards. Oh, he. Th once again, they're a lore dump, so. Okay.
I, I think it's telling that the human characters have not had anything to say this entire time. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Lamar is one of Dottie's teachers. <laughs> oh no, we have to break the five seals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Urethul. Oh yeah, Sadie was evil. The whole time. Sort of. I don't know. I, <laughs> this game is weird and unfortunate. appreciate Zlanith's dedication to iambic pentameter. <laughs> Miriam, we have plenty of bullets. We're, we've been saving the bullets. Wow. Room of Warping. Hey, the Helping Hand! Okay. I accept. Alicia becomes the mind bender. No one's gonna have anything else. Wait a minute. One of those said Daybreak Gate. So I could just go back to the town. Uh. Oh. Or maybe this is the end. So we need snake, eyeball wing, flower, 
centipede and princess. Sure. No big deal. Wait. Oh, there's more down the stairs. Ah, this was so much. <laughs> Why was there so much? Oh, the mind mines. <laughs> Yo, Zenner cards. What's good? Oh no. Oh, it's more learn. It's more lore. <laughs> they <laughs> the one does not simply walk into more lore. So It's not a mimic, right? Oh, you want the painite shard. Oh, good. We have, we, we're friends to mimic. That's good. Well, I don't think I've missed a Zenner. These are repeats. So in case you missed them the first time. Yeah, okay. All right, what do you have? All right, and they all the mimics want a painite shard. Star. I I did. I got all the Zenner cards. I'm such a good player. I don't need to listen to that. Anamalek. Hmm. Okay, so we want... <laughs> really, we want six Painite shards, but I have a feeling that I'm going to have to make a choice. Yo, a twofer. Book of Ibon and the Zohar. It's two for one, my friend. Well, that one seems super on the level. So we have the FF5 sealed castle in here, basically. Aegis charm. Well, I don't know what that does, but it sounds good. This one's gotta be a knife, right? What's the legendary knife? The subtle knife. <laughs> So yeah, um, Alicia wields baseball bats, Miriam uh, guns, Lamar wields books, and uh, Donnie wields knives. <laughs> well, all right, we just have to find painite shards. Uh, a lot of them, apparently. Okay, so these guys are both friendly. They will talk to me. Oh, hey, buddy. No. I already have fortune tickets. Um, those guys are both talking guys, too. Oh, lord. Okay, so maybe things have gotten, like, really weird really fast from the start of this stream, but, like, I... Like, I promise you it's not all this.
So how many fortune tickets do I have left over? Because I've I've gotten all the cards. Nine. Okay, I did pretty good. Um, so these are the chess pieces. I don't really want those necessarily because we already have a bunch. And I haven't really been using them. Uh, they're for Dottie's basic attack. Yeah, blue rook, yellow bishop, red queen, green knight. Maybe I could get a backup blue rook. So we have a mystery key. That is pay knight. Okay. Okay. Those are seals of life. Ammunition. Okay, but I'm only interested in the mystery key and the pay knight, so what's the mystery key? Okay, that's the hell key. Yeah, no big deal. Ah, dang it, I have to get my notes out. Uh, Yuriok the... Literally... No, Yuriok can literally be at multiple places at one time. Okay. Oh, that's a new one. Is that X? That could be expul... No. Ah, I need my notes again. Dang it. Dang it. I always need my notes. Hey, buddy. Alright, note time. Where are my notes? I do like that the game made me take notes. That was, that was the fun part. H, P. Okay, so he... Okay. I'm gonna presume that that one's X. X... X, P, L... O? Oh, he explores the... Yeah, I did homework. Yo, this track is dank, too. Okay. He explores the... E-I... The eight? He explores the eight holes... And... Beyond for treasures? Okay. Alright, well, he explores the eight holes and beyond for treasures. Good for him. Um, the other one's gonna talk in the other cipher, right? Yeah, he is. <laughs> there are two ciphers in this game. Uh... There are places that Uriok cannot go. He is too big to... Explore the mine, for example. Oh, 
I see, so he's too big to explore the mine, but we're small enough to explore the mine and get fortune tickets, which is why he's willing to trade for them. That's consistent. That's probably what I'm gonna do next. This seems like a lot of stuff to do. Um, we'll be back to do that in just a sec. Time to do more homework. All right, you got it, bud. Oh boy. Got a limited amount of light. Huh. So far, I've purchased one fortune ticket. I was also hoping for each of you, if I'm being honest, but... <clears throat> Much is it for the next one? Still 32 obols? Okay, that's a steal then. So now we have 15 fortune tickets. 
that's good. All these guys are friendly. I know just by looking at them. Every last one of these guys is a friendly talking to monster. They talk in cipher language, so... Let's see. If you... F thought... Fant? No, want. I always get tripped up by that. If you want a... E-A-L... If you want a real... Challenge. Go to hell. <laughs> you, you pranked me. Uh, it is a ka ko. What's that scent sign again? It's the scent. You. It is a couple floors beneath the fling. What? Flank? That doesn't make any sense. Because that's F L E. No, that's not an E. That's a Y. Flying. Okay. <clears throat> it is a couple floors beneath the flying eye. Womp? No, wasp. No. Warp. Warp. Flying eye warp. Point. A couple floors beneath the flying eye warp point. Well, I don't know what the flying eye warp point is, buddy. Oh, but we have more to say. Uh, you need a key to get in, though. Maybe. Is that maybe? No. That's a K. M A K. M A K Y O. Machio? Okay. Wasn't ready for the word Machio. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Machio is... Maybe Machio's been brought up. Machio is... Dangerous. After all. Okay. Uh... <laughs> sure, bud. Sweet. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, good. I don't know the code. Thank God. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I have a five-digit code and a four-digit code. Fate cannot be changed. Okay, good. Like, I, I recognize the Expanse languages on my own, thank you very much. <laughs> I've done my homework. Let's see. Here we go again. It would make it a lot easier on me. You do not need the code to understand me. Close. Wait, no. 
C L U E S. Clues. Uh, I forget that one. We need the squiggle. Not that squiggle. Is it H? It's not H. W. That's W. Clues were left to. Easily. Clues were left too easily. Break. Yeah, break the cipher. But that big. Migiot? That can't be right. M I. Oh. <laughs> might. <laughs> but that might be. Pretty. Tedious. tedious, yeah. Okay, well, whatever. You got me on that one. I mean, yes, it might be a little tedious, but it was fun to do the cipher, and I'm getting better at reading it. What? Oh no. Are they zombies still? Yep, they're still zombies. We have a, the way to spend money. <laughs> and sell things that we have found. Okay, so those are all selling things. I'm gonna presume that I don't need any of this shit anymore. I'm not using it. God only knows if I need any of this stuff. Order than this guy. Pinnacle bat. The best bat that human hands could ever create. The pinnacle of all baseball bats. The holy HK 45. It's apparently not as good as Hell's government, though. done better than the Grand Grimoire. Could I have a druidic knife? With a Capulet charm? Cute. Coat charm. For $1,200. You know I want that. Oh, baby. I, I can give Miriam a coat. All right. Away it all goes. I'm not using the shit. It's going away. Stop tempting me. I don't need safety helmets or laser tag vests or roller blades. I don't need things that give me regen. I don't need distractions from the things that I have that are already good. Okay, we barely made it. And now I'm selling things I don't want to sell. 
Wait, how much for the Vita chips? One, of course. Yeah, it costs two dollars to, to get them, so of course they sell for one. I just need to get myself, like, over the mark. Hmm. Maybe Esoteric Tonic? No. 100% of health? I'm not giving that up. I'm not giving up a full heal. Medkits, maybe? No, it's not even good. Hmm. Okay. 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 We're, we're coming back and... Coming back for the coat charm. Wait, I could sell the charm that Miriam has equipped. The whistle charm. Yeah. Perfect. Give me the coat. Yes. Coat. Miriam gets a nice coat. Okay. Observer slab, sure. I see. Encounters do not give money, but encounters have... Um, like, enemies have drops. That's really the only way that you get money. Well, dollars, anyway. Okay, easy enough. Oh, there are windmills, how nice. Made it to the church. Hello. These guys are named Hocklerot. Seal is a life two potion, so that's kind of cool. More broken idols, that's money. Egg.
big egg. Yeah, we have the two expanse languages, but that one's just plain English. Just like a lot of the old creatures here talk in English. Gagorcha. Wow, this whole sequence has been a big old lore dump. Ugh. Maybe too much. I could do with a little less of that. Faradon, as ever, cutting to the heart of the matter. Oh, we have to become like you. Alright. Do you have a cool sword? No. Okay. So we have an up and an across. What's across? Place of waiting. Okay. That's... alright. Are you an enemy? No. Yeah, I no longer know what I'm doing. They're talking to me without me talking to them. That's kind of cool. Okay. That was a thing. Uh. Ooh. Are we doing the Legion thing? Flying Eye Tile. Uh huh. I think the most disturbing part of all this is that there are no encounters. Oh. Okay, okay, an encounter. I'm gonna give them the business. Is it 
pretty serious moves. Second biggest damage output. Ooh, I could Eldritch Eye one of them. You. Oh no, Lamar! They were, they were faster somehow. Well, we got them mostly dead. I guess they're not they're not that shifty. And I do have this on difficulty four. Out of four. Here goes one of them. We're getting there. Ah, crap. Bye, Alicia. Good god. Magical girl to save us. <laughs> hey, they had a fortune ticket! Nice! Yeah, not knowing their weakness ahead of time made it a little harder. Fallen characters do get experience. That's why I haven't been sweating it the whole time. Um, both of them should be at 51, though. Yeah. Uh, which is something that we should fix with the many health drinks that we found. Okay, these are attacking guys. I do it by looking at them. All right. Here we go. Back to the two. Sure. I haven't used that move yet. It's bound to be a good one. You can't fool me. That's just an angry marshmallow. Okay, Mindbender is a pretty good move.
ghost hand. Ouch. enough of the ghost possession thing. Done with that. Great cleanse Dottie. We're gonna shoot. Done. We're gonna not do anything. We're going to Moon's Gift and we're gonna guard. I could have used ninth inning, you're right. That's once per battle. I keep forgetting. Eh, that's a fine amount of hit points. Let's fight. Let's fucking go. Let's save the game. And then let's fucking go. Yo. What is this? Hannah Stoggin Worm. The Sealed Eagle. Trade those 28 ovals for fortune tickets at the mine pretty easily. That's kind of bad. Yo. Whoa! That's a lot of statuses. Attack down. Moves. Slowed. Oh dear. All of this kind of presumes that Alicia is going to survive the turn. Nope. Goodbye, Alicia. Fuck. So I could probably do it with Alicia on the floor. It's not pretty. actually quite pretty. Enemies have basically not been fucking around for like a, a while. <laughs> Casually do like two thirds of your health with a regular attack. Yep, that's enemies now. All of them. Still, if 
feels more correct than incorrect. Oh, more of them. Good. A newcomer, I see. The Marlock Scout. against Ghost. No, oh, don't possess me. Okay, good. Got corrosion on all of them. That's pretty good. really nasty statuses on the enemies, which is why I'm just kind of not doing that. Uh-oh. That got rid of his sleep. Didn't mean to do that. That thing's still confused. Fresh more. You can attack a robot. pretty high, which is nice. That's not necessary. <sighs> Incorrectly targeted that last one. It's not going to take physical except from Lamar. Ah, that's fine though. You know, I may as well ninth inning. Actually, it's free ish. Ah, Miriam got the ghost hand. She got stunned off of that. Oh dear. Okay, the the extreme baseball energy was mine. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh, I love fights. Me more fights. Yo, what is that? Leftover. Acid bug. Okay. Wow, poor versus both of these. Lamar, I'm so sorry.
Okay, dealing 900 damage is nothing to sneeze at, so maybe I shouldn't be critical. Uh, Alicia's new move is basically like her other moves, just it hits everyone and it hits her very hard and it's very expensive. It would probably sweep these two away very easily, but she's got the least sigh of anyone. Let's use it anyway. Actually, no, I'm gonna horror sword. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna horror sword. You're dead by counterattack. Eat it. Dottie! You got it bleeding! What a good girl. Show it the kitchen knife. Dang it, we gotta move off. There we go. Okay, that's a dinosaur. A Merceraptor. Alright. So now is the time for the Mind Vendor. I went out of my way to give Alicia the best defenses I possibly could, and she still gets murked. I... What am I to do? Okay, I guess. Got a robot bolt.
Yeah, I don't know that we're definitely done with the fight meter, but kind of out of it for now. Lines on that, nice. more guys. There's always more guys. Not them all. I want you to be my guys. It's guys all the way down. Ugh. Hmm.
wait. I made some mistake. Not a bad one, though. Not too bad. Lamar! Ah, damn it. Alright, I guess the ladies are gonna have to take care of this. How imbalanced. Well, he gained a level anyway. So there you have it. Proof positive that I wasn't lying. Hey, we got Painite, baby. Lament is powerful, what the heck? <laughs> uh, I'm putting up a sorrow barrier so that shit doesn't happen again. Wow. You cannot do that one specific thing to me again. Combat has gotten uh, a little taxing, I must say.
What if, what if I don't actually want all of these fights? Well, they're kind of all over the place, for one. seem decently easy to avoid, which worries me a little. But also, we got a Painite shard. We should definitely turn that in. For a book, if nothing else. For two books. But to be honest, I'm feeling pretty sleepy. Um... This has kind of been a lot. Like, every single fight is kind of taxing at this point. Uh, and I kind of, I mean, I don't mind that. I was actively seeking that experience. But also, like, holy shit, right? Like... It is, um, it is literally Crimbus in my area. That's true. No, where is the thing that I actually meant to... You know what? Scupper it all. Wait, no. No, 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 Painite. Painite is important. I'm gonna give this as a Christmas gift to myself. This Painite shard for this baseball bat. Yo. Bat of purification granted by a higher power. <laughs> Look. The gods of Blaseball know what's good, and it's this. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay. I, I think I should be able to wrap things up in a follow-up stream to this. I would, uh... Ooh. Oh my, I did not expect to be so sleepy at this time. Uh Yeah, but I am. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I did the thing. There was a lot of reading. There was a lot of moonside. There was even with all of that, there was a lot of fighting. What the heck? Ah, uh, wow, this stream was super draining. I didn't really expect that 
Ordinarily, I can just sort of like play this forever. It's really good. You should play this game. It's available for free. It's a free download. Wow. Good night, everybody. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's not my sign off anymore. <laughs> Sorry, trans rights are human rights. Black Lives Matter now and always. Good night, everybody.